All right, guys, it's Friday review day of our circle map. We have a lot of things on our circle map, and there's a lot more things we can add with letter B. We can add all kinds of things like bread and, uh, and boogers, <laughs> whatever you want to add to your circle map, because you guys are going to be making a story journal based off of the circle map that's up here. So we've got babies. You can do a you can draw a picture of a boy. Some of you are boys, so you can draw a picture of yourself. One of my kids this morning was wearing a Batman. You've got your friend Brandon in my classroom. He's a boy, and his name starts with B. Um, you've got bugs, bows, blue, the color blue, the color brown, the color black. And I'm going to go ahead and do a little sample on how to do those over here. And you can see I'll pull this one down and get a really close look at it. So this is some ideas of things you can draw on your letter B journal page, all right? And there's a big bear and a little bear. Remember we read the story of the little bear and the big bear and little bear? So there you go. And um, let's go ahead and turn around our journal and let's start working on our journals. I'll turn you guys around like this. We'll go to Miss Willie's journal page. All right, so Miss Willie has her crayons out and we're going to start drawing some pictures on our journal page. We have two journal pages. This is for the older kids, and this is for the younger kids. If your older kids would be more comfortable using this and you have it, great. But this is usually what I put in with the older four-year-olds because I like them to work on their letters more than I do the younger ones. The younger ones are just learning letters. I don't expect them to know their letters yet, okay? But some of these guys have already been through my class for a year and they already know how to write their letters. So I'm gonna write it, use some of mar I'm gonna use a marker for some of this. We're gonna practice our B's, but the very first thing we always do is is write our names at the top. Okay. So I'm gonna write my name up here. I'm not using crayon, although you guys can use crayon. I'm just showing you uh, with the marker so it's easier to see. So we're gonna start off with a big line. Some small curve at the top small curve at the bottom. We small curve goes right in at the middle here. If it was a big curve, that would be a letter D. So big line, and then we're gonna start at the middle and make a small curve. Let's do that again. Big line starting from the top, small curve, small curve. Big line starting from the top, small curve. All right, so here it's the same thing. Big line starting from the top. Small curve, small curve. Big line starting from the top. Oop, I didn't finish that curve. Small curve. I'll do a couple more of these. Big line starting from the top. Small curve, small curve. Big line starting from the top. Small curve. So there's your capital B or uppercase. Some people call it uppercase, some people call it capital. Either one is fine with me. And this is your lowercase b. Usually you see these at the beginning of names and the beginning of important words that are known as nouns, okay? When you see the capitals. So now we're gonna draw some pictures. I'm gonna use the big one here to draw my pictures. All right. So I think I'll draw a baseball. I like baseball. Miss Willie's an Angels fan, so I like to do baseball. Let me get my red and I'm gonna make some marks in my baseball, like this. Zip, zip. I like to make silly noises when I'm drawing. All right, so there's my baseball. All right, you can even do a bat, like in the, what's in the picture here. I'm also, that reminds me. So I'm gonna write down, or in your case, if you were in, if you were in class with me, I'd be writing down after you drew all your pictures, I'll write down what you tell me your pictures are. Your mommies and daddies and grown-ups can do the same thing. So I'm gonna write base ball. Okay, so let's see, let's make a banana. I think I'll make a banana. Hopefully you can see the banana. It's hard to see yellow. It's really, it's really always asked the kids not to write in yellow because it's really hard to see. But I'll go ahead and try making a banana like this. I'll need a little bit of brown, some brown here and some brown here, okay? And usually there's a little bit of brown in bananas anyway when they come from the trees. So there you go. All right. They're not completely yellow. So there's your bananas and banana man. There used to be a character called Banana Man that the kids always liked. Banana. All right. 
And let's see, how about a butterfly? Oh, I love butterflies. So we're gonna do a curve and a curve. They're kind of at an angle. And then a curve and a curve. And then you're gonna go like this and put antennas, there you go. And write the word butterfly. And you can decorate yours any way you want, guys. Miss Willie's just doing some quick pictures to show you, okay? How about a bug? Ooh, I like bugs. Let's see, I'm going to use my red marker that I have on my hand because it's easier for you guys to see, but you can go ahead and use your red crayons, okay? So Miss Willie is going to make a little ladybug like that. It's a bug. There's all kinds of different bugs, but that's one that you guys recognize usually. And, oh, I got a good one. How about, I know this one. See if you guys can guess what it is. How about, ah. Let's do this. Okay. And we're going to give him a little mouth, a little nose, some eyes, and little ears, and a baby. We'll get, make it a girl baby. We'll put a bow in her hair. Baby. Okay. And that's just some ideas of things you can draw. All right, boys and girls, have fun. Enjoy yourself. And if you get a chance, because I think I, I believe I put a heart on this one, if you can take a picture of it when you're done, that would be awesome. If I have a heart on it, remember, take a picture. All right, boys and girls, that's it for your Friday Bee Review, and I'll see you at Zoom. Bye.